hello good day everyone and you welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer and i'm here to give you as always an amazing tutorial and the goal is always to release videos that will make you better in structural engineering and that can get you to the top of your design at all time so right now i want to show you a very simple thing um and in the last few releases we had um, a comment from one of our subscribers and this is from ogundiro aderemi he says thanks for all you do please do work on slab eating beam design thanks and because the goal of this channel is to give you all that you need to do to get your work better or the solutions that you need to bring it at hand and because that is our goal we are here to give that answer to Ogundiro and Deremi okay so I'll be showing in this video how to go about your eating beans right now so in case you're joining my channel for the first time you stumbled on this video or you're coming across joshua the designer for the first time i would really love that you use the like button and you subscribe to this channel yes yeah, so by doing that you're encouraging us to do more and to give more and more content that will make you better when it comes to structural engineering right so on this right now i'll be giving a very simple solution in simple steps so I want you to go along with me as I bring solution to that question right so eating beam are also known as um, concealed beams that is from the word eating they are always concealed in slabs such that you would not even notice that you have beams eating in that um, framework because they are always concealed eating within slabs right and they are still going to serve the purposes of beams as supposed right so i'll be doing that in this video and i'd like that you follow through so that you can get that which i am trying to show you right so let me assume that what we were supposed to use if we were not hiding the beam if we were not hiding any beam if we we're not concealing any beam what let's assume we want to use the beam size of 450 by 2 to 5 mm so if i'm if i'm using 450 by 2 to 5 mm beam in a situation where i'm not concealing the beam so it's going to be showing at on at the surface of this lab all right or um, below the slab rather so it will mean that the area of my beam which i obtained by multiplying 450 which is the death by the width 2 to 5 it will give me 101250 millimeter square so this is going to be the total area of that beam if it were not to be concealed but now I want to conceal a beam which is going to be the same area as this but it has to be hidden within the slab right so I know this area now to be the area that I need to now function with to have my beam now and I know that the thickness of my slab that I want to use we want to use a slab thickness of 150 mm so it will mean that my depth the depth of my beam for it to remain concealed within the slab should not exceed 150 millimeters so that is to say that i have 101250 let me clear this 101250 when i divide this by 150 which is the depth of my beam now because it should not the thickness of that beam should not now exceed the thickness of the slab because it has to be concealed right so when i divide that i will have 
six seven five that is to say that the width of my beam now should be around six seven five millimeters so this is what i want to do with this information that i have now then i would get to my modeling now what you want to do is we i want to put this beam on this grid line so that it will be a demarcation or uh, it will divide this full panel into two different panels then i'll click on the beam so not forgetting that our width now is 675 as we have obtained from the calculation and our thickness is 150 mm which is the thickness of the slab for it to remain concealed right so then you want to insert it appropriately right so this is what we have now we have this 150 by 675 mm now you can now insert your slab appropriately so our slab thickness is 150 the cover 20 mm the loads the self is there for the dead load it's a room impost load um in general domestic use okay so and that's that's fine now i can insert there so insert my slab and insert my slab just here now let's check this on 3d and see what it looks like so this on 3d now if you look at this this is the beam we just placed now but i want you to see it in a very clear way so that you see that it's truly concealed oh my okay okay now so you see that this beam you can see that is it has dropped from the slab but this one that is concealed look at it now it has the same thickness with the slab it has the same thickness with the slab so it is automatically concealed within within the slab so that is to say that once you cast this um mono monolithically you have your beam and your slab in the same plane without one having another elevation dropping or above another so that is how to have your concealed beam or your hidden beam as you may call it so thank you very much i believe this has answered to the question of uh Ogundira, Deremi, and some other that would need solution in this regard so thank you very much we'll see in the next video and if you have not subscribed to this channel i'd encourage that you so you to subscribe button like our videos and we'll be interested in giving you more each time on this channel thank you